evening service of music. We do so in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and it is our prayer that the Lord's Spirit will minister to us as we worship this evening. The first song is Missing a Name, and so I'd like to announce that Sarah Bass is going to open our service this evening with the song Come As You Are to Worship. Call to worship this evening, I'm going to read three verses from the first chapter of John. In the beginning was the gospel preached through the Son, and the gospel was the Word, and the Word was with the Son, and the Son was with God, and the Son was of God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made which was made. In him was the gospel, and the gospel was the life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in the world, and the world perceiveth it not. Let's continue with hymn 477. We'll stand for this and remain standing for the invocation by High Priest Rod Williams.
Most gracious Heavenly Father, we praise thy name. And this evening's service is intended to be one continual song of praise with our voices, with our instruments, with our hearts. Father, accept this offering of praise and joy in singing unto thee as we worship together as thy saints. Be with us, enliven our hearts, lift our spirits, that tonight we may leave rejoicing as we have been together in music and in word. We pray thee things in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. scripture for the offering I am selected them Psalms 24 the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof the world and they that draw in for he that hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place he that hath clean hands and a pure heart who have not lifted up his soul into vanity or sw sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Shall we pray? Our Father, we do come at this time truly thanking you for all those blessings that you do bestow upon us each day. We know that everything is yours but we are but stewards over that which you allow us to possess. May we continue to give back unto thee that truly thy kingdom might go forth, that we might have your strength and your power to bring the world to know you. We would ask these things in Christ's holy name. Amen.
Before I read a scripture to uh, introduce the song that we are uh, about to sing, many of you know, who know are, are familiar with our family, know that we have a sister and an aunt who isn't with us. Used to be within in the ministry, but uh, isn't able to be with us now. She, however, is in the process of making her way back home. Hopefully we'll be here within a few weeks, and hopefully she's able to join by a broadcast. So we would like to dedicate our singing tonight to our sister, Debbie. This is from Mosiah chapter 11. And it came to pass, after they had fasted and prayed for the space of two days and two nights, the limbs of Alma received their strength, and he stood up and began to speak unto them, bidding them to be of good comfort. For he said, I have repented of my sins and have been redeemed of the Lord. Behold, I am born of the Spirit. And the Lord said unto me, Marvel not that all mankind, yea, men and women, all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people must be born again, yea, born of God, changed from their carnal and fallen state to a state of righteousness, being redeemed of God, becoming his sons and daughters, and thus they become new creatures. And unless they do this, they can in no wise inherit the kingdom of God. I pray that we are all changed. Well, I've been to the river, I've been baptized, I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. I've been changed from the creature that once I was, and redeemed is now my name. I've been changed, I am newborn, now all my life has been rearranged. What a difference it made when the Lord came and stayed in my heart. Oh yes, I've been changed. Though my sins were as scarlet, they're white as snow. I was bound, but today I am free. I was lost in the darkness, but now I am found. I was blind, but now I see. I've been changed. I am newborn. Now all my life has been rearranged. What a difference it made when the Lord came and stayed in my heart. Oh yes, I've been changed. Like the poor Hebrew children, I wandered long in a bare desert land to and fro. But I've crossed over Jordan to Canaan's land where the milk and honey flow. When at last in his presence I stand above, he will wipe all the tears from my eyes. And I'll thank him for giving a wretch like me lasting hope beyond the skies. I've been changed, I'm newborn, now all my life has been rearranged. What a difference it made when the Lord came and stayed in my heart. Oh yes, I've been changed. What a difference it made when the Lord came and stayed in my heart. Oh yes, I've been changed. I'm changed. From the testimony of John, chapter 8, verse 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of everlasting life.
from Ephesians. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your hearts to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things and to God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. O oh, Jesus, I have promised to serve thee to the end. Be thou forever near me, my master and my friend. 
I shall not fear the battle if thou art by my side, nor wander from the pathway if thou wilt be my guide. There is a tree by a clear running stream that flows from the fountain of God, where our Savior invites all to come, holding fast to that great iron rod. O oh, Jesus, thou hast promised to all who follow thee that where thou art in glory, there shall thy servant be. And Jesus, I have promised to serve thee to the end. Oh, give me grace to follow my master and my friend. Amen.
from the 43rd Psalm, we find these words. O oh, send out thy light in thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles. Would you join us as we sing hymn number 110? Hymn 110. The Matthew 5. Therefore, let your light so shine before the, this world that they may see in your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Perfect. 
perfect salvation to tell. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful, wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Many years ago, noted preacher Dwight Moody told his congregation a story about a ship helplessly rocking and plunging on a stormy, starless night near the Cleveland Harbor. The mariners on board could see the lighthouse, but they needed to find their way through the narrow passage and the treacherous rocks that surrounded the harbor. Normally, light on the shore aligned with the lighthouse marked the passage to safety. But this particular night, the lower lights had gone out. Finally, the captain decided they had no choice but to proceed. With a strong hand and a brave heart, the old pilot turned the wheel. Tragically, he missed the channel, crashed the boat upon the rocks, and many lives were lost. Moody explained the lesson to be learned. The master will take care of the great lighthouse, but he depends on us to keep the lower lights burning. Philip Bliss was directing the singing that night and was so moved by the story that he wrote the hymn, Brightly Beams Our Father's Mercy, and set it to music. You can find it as hymn 342 in the Remnant Hymnal. The storms of life put many around us in peril. They long to approach the light of our Father's mercy, but are unsure of how to navigate the obstacles in their way. If we can keep the light of faith burning in our hearts, if we align our light with the light above, then we can guide an exhausted sailor home. We can be the lower lights that send a gleam across the wave. Some poor fainting, struggling seamen we may rescue we may save. Father's word. 
I came unto my own, and my own received me not. But unto as many as received me gave I power to do many miracles, and to become the sons of God. And even unto them that believed on my name gave I power to obtain eternal life. And even so I have sent mine everlasting covenant into the world, to be a light to the world, and to be a standard for my people and for the Gentiles to seek to it, and to be a messenger before my face to prepare the way before me. Oh. 
from Psalm 118. The Lord is my strength and song and is become my salvation. And then these words, he is my savior, sure and strong. He is the light that leads me on. He is my strength. He is my song. He is my all. is long he is the dawn light that never fails though other hope is gone he is the balm for every wound for every sorrow great or small he is my strength he is my song he is my all From Mark chapter 16 and Doctrine and Covenants, section 16. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. For behold, I command all men everywhere to repent, and I speak unto you, even as unto Paul, mine apostle. Remember, the worth of souls is great in the sight of God. For behold, the Lord your Redeemer suffered death in the flesh. Wherefore he suffered the pain of all men, that all men might repent and come unto him. 
And he hath risen again from the dead, that he might bring all men unto him on conditions of repentance. And how great is his joy in the soul that repenteth. Wherefore, you are called to cry repentance unto this people. And if it so be that you should labor all your days in crying repentance unto this people, and bring, save it be, one soul unto me, how great shall be your joy with him in the kingdom of my Father. You see, it's not about the number. We need to be willing to share the light that we've been singing about and speaking about, if only just a few. His hands were tied behind his back as he stood before the court. The Apostle Paul was facing death again. Someone said, this man has preached that Jesus Christ is Lord. We say, let the scourging now begin. He felt his body tighten, the blood began to flow, and between the stripes, Paul just sang his song. If only just a few believe, I will tell of Calvary, I will be a witness for the Christ. If only just a few are saved, I will go in Jesus' name. I will share my story with the lost. If heaven celebrates when just one lost soul prays through, then I'll give my all if for only just a few. Paul remembered well the time when Timothy was saved, just one out of all who heard the news. And for months across the little towns, preaching Jesus is the way, some days he'd reach just one or two. Were they worth his suffering as the soldiers left him lay? Through the tears they could hear him say, If only just a few believe, I will tell of Calvary. I will be a witness for the cross. If only just a few are saved, I will go in Jesus' name. I will share my story with the lost. If heaven celebrates when just one lost soul prays through, then I'll give my all if for only just a few. Tell of Calvary, I will be a witness for the Christ. If only just 
of you are saved. I will go in Jesus' name. I will share my story with the lost. If heaven celebrates when just one lost soul For only just a few, then I'll give my all. If for only just a few, I'll give my all for just a. I can see the clock on the back wall, so my closing thoughts will be very short. <laughs> Three things. I think we underestimate the importance of music in our worship. And I think that our worship could be enriched as we work and enhance our music program. And I'd like to read this by F. Henry Edwards. We praise God to give wholehearted expression to our delight in Him. Doing so, we find that it is as we rejoice in God that He makes Himself known to us in a spiritually uplifting personal sharing. My second thought is that uh, in the theme tonight, part of it was light. And I think we could um, make light the theme for the whole evening that God is light. We talk about when we accept the gospel, we come into the light. We are to walk in the light. And in the New Testament, the saints are called the children of light. So you can see how important this concept of light or the Holy Spirit is to us. And then the next point is that in the theme, it says to let our light shine. So it isn't enough that we recognize that God is light, we are to show God's light to the world. And how do we do that? We do that as, we, as our eyes become single to him, then his light shines through us. It is not that we have light within ourselves. It is his light that shines through us. And finally, I'd like to thank everyone that uh, helped in the planning and uh, participating in the service this evening. I know that Linda Verdett had to do a ton of work to pull this all together, and so I, I recognize her specifically, but I know that there were many involved, and thank you. Thank you for coming tonight.
our Heavenly Father. We do indeed rejoice for this occasion, for this opportunity that we've had this evening to come together as one, to worship you, to um, express through those gifts and talents that you have given us, to express that uh, love that we have for you, that praise that we desire to give you, and to share in the love that we have for one another. And so, Father, what a blessing that we count as ours as we have this opportunity tonight. We have a, a wonderful setting to enjoy with music and with scripture and with love. And so thank you, Father, for your spirit that has been in uh, attendance with us this night. And may we um, look to the days ahead as we desire to share in that light of Christ. For we know that uh, Jesus was the word made flesh. And we desire also, Father, that his word may be flesh in us and that we might be that witness that he desires of us to be, that your name, even God the Father, might be glorified. And so, Father, we thank you again and pray that uh, your benediction will be upon this waiting congregation. May you go with each, and may we find the peace that we desire and that you promise that we have in this life and even eternal life in the life to come. And may our hope in thy kingdom, may it remain strong within us and drive us and excel us to be the people that you would have us to be. For we ask this prayer then in the holy and precious name of our Lord Jesus. Amen.